Google's Notebook LM is a great tool for students, for researchers, for anyone who are into the world of learning. Let's explore Google's Notebook LM and see what it can do. To open up Google's Notebook LM, you simply need to go to the website called notebooklm.google. Here you can see this page where you can simply click on try notebook LM and then you'll be taken to a login page. So once you're logged in, you'll be welcomed by this interface. Go to this create new notebook button. Here you will see you can upload sources. You can select choose file to upload and then you can upload files of different types. Like you can upload images, you can upload documents, you can upload PDF files. I'm going to upload a DaVinci Resolve manual. DaVinci Resolve is one of the best video editing tool. So I'm going to upload the manual which I have already downloaded from their official site. The manual will take some time to upload. By the time it uploads, let us give the notebook a name. So now it has almost uploaded the source. It has got one source. It can you can add some more sources once this is done you can add more sources you can go to add source what is there you have this when you go to adding sources you have the source limit so this is a free account which gives you an ample limit of 50 sources per notebook so you can add 50 sources the sources can be i have shown you that you can upload a pdf file that file is already uploaded here all right and based on the uploaded file it gives us an overview it gives us an overview so you can see an overview of from the file so you can save it to a note or let that let us explore one by one so you can add more sources like you can also add Google Docs or Google slide from your Google Drive you can add a link to a website or you can add a link from YouTube, a video link. Or you can copy and paste your text. So you can paste, simply paste your whatever text you have copied from other sources. And then click on insert to add your pasted copied text. This is one. And you can add YouTube link. So let us go ahead and add one link from a YouTube video. So I have searched DaVinci Resolve 10. So I'll just go ahead and, for example, this video from Mr. Alex Tech. I'll right click on this, click on share, and I'll copy the link. And then I'll go back to the notebook and then paste the link from this YouTube video. So you can directly paste the link to from a YouTube video and click on insert and it will fetch the transcript from that YouTube video and it will add it as a source so this is been added so this way you can add up to 50 sources right so now the sources has been added now again if you are not able to find sources yourself what you can do is you can click on this discover sources button and you can describe your problem or you can describe something which can help you get different sources for example let us try it out the same thing davinci resolve for example davinci resolve training okay let's submit so it will search the internet for relevant sources and you have seen that there are different uh, sources being listed here so training davinci resolve black magic design from its original source so there are different sources has been highlighted here so you can go ahead and select the sources that you like and simply add it to it i'll again this select everything and select one of the things like for example this video let's import again it will import the source here okay the source has been imported so it has got now three sources now once you are done with adding your sources you can go ahead working with your 
source data, asking questions, getting a response from the AI system. On the back of it, the mind of this AI system is probably the Google Gemini AI, right? And other Google's different uh, AI tools. Okay. So you can simply go ahead and start typing. Start typing your query. For example, uh, give me a way to reduce audio noise. For example, I have given this task. Let us see what it comes out. So it will go through the sources and then come up with an answer. Okay. So it has got different answers based on it. So you see this. It is giving the different options by which we can have better audio so you see this this is for the version of studio version only davinci resolve comes in two versions one is a free version and the other one is a studio paid version so it gives you the details about from where you get what kind of feature so you can see all those different ways by which you can reduce the noise you can do the audio uh, refinement it has come up from the sources that you have added so this is how you can ask this system a query now one of the very important thing is that you have these things already there like you can create a briefing document let's click on it and see what it comes up so you can simply add your source click on briefing doc that gives you you see here you have a brief of from your sources this is a briefing document suppose you want to make a briefing for a meeting you have some sources some documents and you can feed in those documents into the system and then and then you can simply create a brief from your source so this is very good option it's a very quick option which can help you create briefs from your documents right next you can also create study guide. For example, I have given this system sources for uh, DaVinci Resolve. You can also add your PDF files of your textbooks. If you are a student, you can add study notes. You can add videos from tutorials and all coaching centers and all. And then you can create your own study guide. So if you go to this study guide, it will generate a study guide. Okay. That way it helps you learn things more effectively. So now the study guide is now done. So it will give you a study guide. So it gives you questions, probable questions based on the sources which you can learn. And there are answer keys as well, which helps you practice. If you're a student, if you're going to appear for some competitive exams and all you can feed in your sources your study materials into the system and practice using this study guide system so how cool is that right so it's it works like your ai coach uh, ai coach so you can simply add the sources and you have this study guide and it, it gives you options of various different types of questions like it has give you it has given you essay questions like essay type questions like long answer type questions and all right so you can go ahead and follow this study guide to prepare for your exams for your whatever task you have in front right this is an awesome thing next you can create for example let's create click on this timeline it will give you a timeline of you can see this timelines on events like it gives you different timelines for different events related to the topic okay so if you're doing some studies and all so you can create this timelines or it's like historical data or historical things that you can do with the timeline feature 
so these are some of the default features which are already there you can also create a fact list frequently asked question list and all and now one of the very nice and very interesting tool is this thing called deep dive conversation this is an awesome thing it creates a podcast so it will generate the conversation based on one source that i have selected you can then select multiple sources and create this or generate this deep dive conversation this audio overview or audio board podcast has been created now if you click on this let's dive right in. we're looking at a video editing today specifically uh, what interestingly they felt it was maybe a fraction of this is very realistic and this is awesome right you can you can see that there are two hosts talking to each other based on the source so it is talking about different features of Stevens resolve and like it's like very nice now what you can do once the audio overview has been created download download the audio to your computer like this this is an interactive mode you can see this is beta where you can once you have this play audio you can join if you want to join what you can do you can give microphone access and then you can ask in between various questions i i have never i have never seen this so let's let's try this out hey what do you think about this the feature of masking Hey there, thanks for jumping in. What exactly has caught your attention? We're just starting to look back all the new AI features and features based on this technology. Oh, yeah. Yes, what do you think about the masking feature, which is no, now very uh, AI based? Uh, the masking feature. You're right, there are some really interesting AI powered updates to masking in this last time. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out. You're about to touch on how all this AI costs will happen locally, but let's definitely. So the source material actually covers two main masking enhancements: magic masks and depth. Masks. This is awesome, right? Both of them have depth. So, depth. so what I can do, I can join into the deep dive conversation, ask questions in between the audio overview, and they will, I mean, the AI agents or AI AI chatbot will respond to me in a conversational way. How cool is that? it's i know it's taking a longer time but this feature is awesome this now join feature where you can join into the ai conversation it's an awesome tool it is one of the best things now there are some other stuff cool stuff let's quickly go into those cool stuff and try the other cool stuff is you see if i select i'll select this pdf file and now last but not the least let us go into a, a very cool feature called mind map select this mind map option okay it will create a mind map from the source that you have selected so it will take some time because my source is a pretty heavy source so you see it has created a mind map from the manual right i have given you given it uh, the vince resolve manual pdf and it has created a mind map so you can go ahead all those stuff you see it's how cool is that so it creates a mind map so you can download this mind map as a picture and then you can go ahead into different you see this this is awesome right this mind map feature is also very interesting google notebook lm has got endless possibilities if i go on checking out showing you each and every feature it will take many many more hours go to the website notebooklm.google try it yourself use your own sources try all the features and i guarantee you you'll be mind blown and do like this video if you found it of some value thank you very much